Across the river, Russia. The time has come, gentlemen. We're at war again. Oh, let me enlist. Absolutely not. If you won't find me a commission, I'll run away and find one myself. I've fallen in love before, and I expect that I will again. A short time ago, I was able to be of service to Princess Maria Bolkonski. It really does seem like fate, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does. Just to confirm, I have received a refusal from Countess Rostova. Will <laughs> you ask him if he can forgive me? No one's as kind as you. No one understands me as well as you do. If you knew how much... No, this is wrong. We're fighting on our own soil now. Look out! Get down, sir! Look out here. Oh, God. Napoleon's army has suffered a mortal wound from which he will not recover. Do we go on the offensive? No. We retreat. Abandon Moscow? Abandon Russia's sacred capital without a fight? Last, Moscow. Here she lies in all her beauty, wide open to us. With one word from me, she could be destroyed forever. But I will spare her, and more than that, I will bring her justice and show her the meaning of true civilization. I will be merciful with her former rulers. I will say to them, I come in peace. Your happiness is as precious to me as that of all my subjects. This is the dawn of a new age in Russia. the shops and fighting in the street. We have to leave now. now. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's plenty of time. There's all sorts of rumors flying around, but the governor can't restop you. People are saying he's left as well. What's happening? Papa, we have to leave. Why do we always leave everything till it's too late? Don't you understand? The French are coming now. Oh, what must have come of us? It's all going to be fine now. Can I help? What do you want me to do? Oh, don't, don't, don't touch that. Redress those wounds, particularly Excuse yours. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Where have you come from? Borodino. Is there any way we can help? Well, food and water, if you have any. Of course. Um, the wounded who can't walk. Wouldn't it be better if they were brought in? We've plenty of room. Would it be permitted? You're very kind. Forgive me, Your Excellency. Are you permitted? Should you not ask your father? It's all right. He'll say yes. I know he will. Have them brought in. Thank you. Onward. Bring the horses inside. Bring the wounded inside! I don't know what to take and what to leave. We should pack for Nikolai, too. I wish he was here to say what he needs. Oh, I think he has what he needs already. Sonny, you know he loves you. Yes, but what does that matter? I can't imagine Nikolai loving anybody else. Mm. Anyway, if anyone's going to be an old maid, it will be me. No one will want me after my disgrace. You're still my friend, though, aren't you, Sonia? 
I know I said some awful things to you at that terrible time. Yes, of course I'm still your friend. <laughs> well, then I'm happy. You and Pierre, that's enough. I do wonder what happened to Pierre. Do you think we'll ever see him again? Oh, I can't imagine not. No. How can I? Oh, Sonia. What's going to happen to those poor wounded soldiers when the French get here? The French are not barbarians. Well, perhaps we could take one or two of them with us. We could make space. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask Papa. I won't allow it. Really, Ilya. You've brought us to the point where we're not getting anything for our house, and now you want us to give up all our possessions, all our children's inheritance. But if we can care for two or three of these poor fellows, Natalia... It isn't our business to care for them. It's the government's business to care for them. Government's gone, my dear. Oh, so you want us to abandon all our family treasures to the French just to make room in the carriages for soldiers? No. No! This is beyond your usual foolishness. This is, this is madness. Mama, please. It's not abandoning everything. It's just things we wouldn't care These about. These are our Mother. things. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Oh. Do what you will. Ruin us. I give up. Take a last look at the old house. Who knows when we'll return to it? Never. No doubt. No, I'm not so sure. Things have a way of turning out for the best just when you least expect it. Oh, your blind optimism never ceases to amaze me. I'm afraid I have to. Why? There's something I have to do, something terrible. What? Kill Napoleon. Pierre! 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 What's the hurry? The French are here. They're in the city. Who the hell are you? And who the hell are you, monsieur? I'm Count Pierre Bazukov. I own this house. Ah. Capitaine Rambal, 4e Regiment de Chasseurs. À votre service, monsieur le comte. I must inform you that your house has been commandeered in the name of the French army. Has it, by God? 
We're both gentlemen, monsieur. I'm weary of war. And hungry for a little civilized conversation. Come, sit, and drink a bottle or two with me. Capitaine Rambal, is Napoleon himself in the city? Yeah, certainly. He will be addressing the populace tomorrow evening from the steps of the Kremlin Palace. He is there now. Tell me, Count, have all the women left Moscow? I believe so. Ah. All those who had the means to. Dommage. <laughs> I love women. Women have been my life. And I can tell you have known women too. Eh? <laughs> Just a month ago, I had the honor to save the life of the Polish Huzza. And you know what? He insisted on offering his wife to me. <laughs> a very affectionate little thing she was. <laughs> she wanted to run away with me, you know. But when I'd had my fill, I returned her to her husband. Monsieur, I said to him, I saved your life, and now I will save your honor. <laughs> I must confess I'm a romantic, and I can tell you are the same, my friend. No, not quite the same. I have a different view of love from yours and a different experience of it. I mean, of course, I've known women, many of them, I'm ashamed to say. But I have only truly loved one woman in all my life. And she can never belong to me. What's this place called? Tishy, I think they said. Tishy, yes. I hope we get further, but it started out so late. Sonia, come with me. Oh. Oh. Careful. Please let me help you. May I help here? Is he very badly wounded? Yes. He should have a room to himself. If that's possible, miss. He's quite an important person. Well. Oh. Yes, I'll, I'll tell the mistress right away. He'll have every care possible. Look there, Your Excellency. Back there. That's fire. Moscow is burning. Oh, Moscow. Never mind, Excellency. They will put it out. No fear. But who's left to put it out? Poor Moscow. Our dear mother.
mother go. gone. The soldiers move them on. Go that way, sir. Oh, no! Unless there's a trap! Here. Leave her alone! Assassin! Assassin et pyromane! On la barre! No, 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 that's the other one. He lies very quiet. Tasha, you catch a chill over there. Come and lie in bed with me. No, I'm all right, Mama. I'll sleep over here on the floor. Miss, you can't be here. Oh, let us stay. It's really you. Forgive me. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. For what? For what I did. Natasha, I love you. You can't love me. I love you more. Better than I do. I was in the wrong. It's for you to forgive me. Oh, I, I thought you'd left. Came to tell you that I've heard your brother is alive. He's been cared for by my family. They'll be traveling to Yaroslavl. He had to flee from Moscow. Oh, thank God. Well, well, I must bring Nikoshka to see his father. Yes, of course. I would escort you, but I'm, I'm already late to join my regiment. No, 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 don't be silly. Nothing ever happens exactly as one would wish. But... I understand. Right, Nikolai. Stay safe. Natasha, she's not still with that man. She won't leave his side. Well, tell her to come and make ready. We have to move on. She says that Prince Andre isn't well enough to be moved yet. Oh, Ilya, what are we to do? Should we move on? Or is it safe to wait a day or two? Uh, hard to say. Uh, I'll leave it to you, my dear. I'm just going to step out for a breath of fresh air. See the goats, you know. Broken him. 
you know we're ruined, don't you? We have nothing left. Nothing at all. Everything now depends on Nicolai. Everything. You understand me? Yes, Countess, I understand you. Ou de la fin, mon capitaine. Deux, ça ira plus vite. Allons-y, le premier et le deuxième. Présentez armes En joue Feu Les deux suivants, vite En joue Non, 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 que le cinquième. Les autres sont là comme témoins. Et tu bouges plus. Et on bouge. En joue. Feu. Ça suffit. Emmenez les autres. Everything is simple, really. The world. The world wants us to love it. And it's not hard, it's easy. I have this little whispering voice. This sort of little whispering music. And I realized it was a fly in the room. And it wanted me to love it. And I did love it. And I saw that one can love everything. Yourself. We're talking nonsense. I've been delirious, you know. But I want... I want you to know that I... I'm happy. I saw him at the hospital. Who, who did you see? Anatole Karagan. My enemy. He was hurt. I was hurt, and he looked at me, and I found that I loved him too. He's not so bad. He can't help it being like that. And I'm the one to blame. It was cruel of me to leave you. It was cruel of me to break it off with you. I see that now. Oh, please, don't talk like that. As if I were a child. As if I had no responsibility for what I did. I was wrong. And I was foolish, and I didn't think of you or how I was hurting you. I behaved badly, and nothing can change that. Nothing can make it right. But we can forgive each other, can't we? We can still love each other. Now that it's all too late. But it isn't. It isn't too late. That's so strange. I was thinking, if she could be here, I could tell her. And here you are. And I won't leave you. I'll never leave you.
my dear Sonia. Ugh, Lord. Did I ask you to barge in? Sorry, Your Excellency, but this letter. All right, give it here. My dearest Nikolai, I am writing to tell you that I release you from our engagement. Oh, thank you, God. I know that your family wish you to marry Princess Volkonsky, that your family's welfare depends upon it. So I beg you to consider yourself free, but to know that despite everything, no one could ever love you more than your Sonia. I say now is the time to attack Napoleon. While his divisions are scattered across the city and his soldiers are preoccupied with arresting looters. Those who are not looting themselves, we could retake Moscow and secure a famous victory. No, we do nothing. Time and patience. Napoleon will never survive the Russian winter. In a little while, he will abandon Moscow because he has no means of supplying his army. Then when he is retreating, we will attack. Consider the advantage of fighting on our own ground. Your meeting, Grace, meeting, might... meeting concluded, gentlemen. This is beyond reason. They refuse to fight, yet they don't surrender and make terms. What sort of men are they? They would burn their beloved city to the ground rather than accept my generous settlement. Are they savages? Do they want to go back to the Dark Ages? I expected better of them. I'm disappointed! <clears throat> Sire. Yes, what? What with the disruption and the fires, we shall soon find we're running out of essential provisions. And you think I don't know that? I shall be glad to receive your solutions to these problems by noon today. Master? There are no masters here, I think. I think you're right there. Look like you've seen a bit of trouble. I have. I dare say you have too. Ah, we won't dwell on that. You suffer now, you'll have a lifetime. It all comes around. Don't have any worries here. It's up to them love to look after us. Wait a minute. <coughs> meet my friend. Here she is. Little Sushenka. What are you in today, Master? Here. <coughs> You can have one of these and don't say I don't treat you kind, because I do. You'd share it with me? Yeah, I would. Why not? I know too. Go on, take. No, 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 not like that. You won't taste it, Master. Yeah. A little bit of salt. Now, bit by bit, and say 
favorite master you never know. This might be the last one you ever see. Right, a little bit for you, miss. Come on, sit up nice. Sit up nice. Good girl. Good girl, Sasha. It's very good. Thank you. Platon Karadeyev. Pierre Bezukov. My dear Pierre, what is the matter with you? Why do you not reply to my letters? I know you would not wish me to be unhappy, and what I require from you is such a little thing. The work of a moment. All I need is a word from you agreeing that our marriage was never consummated. This will enable me to marry again. I know you would do this for me out of the Christian kindness of your heart, dear Pierre, in eternal friendship and sincere regard. Helen. P.S. This matter really is quite urgent. says he's enjoying army life and he hopes very much to see some real fighting soon oh. i don't understand my dear it's from petya where oh. oh yes i see someone's coming it's princess maria and the little boy prince andre's son So you're very welcome, very welcome. Uh, uh, sad yeah, occasion. Forgive me, but he is here. May I see him? But of course. Uh, why, why don't you sit down, well, my no, dear? No, no, if you please, I'd like to see him straight yes, away. Uh, sit down and we'll ring for tea. There's no hurry, really, no hurry. two days ago. You'll see. Oh, Maria. And Nicholas too. How are you now? Your health, I mean. Well, as for that, you have to ask the doctor. Thank you for coming. So, here we are, all together. Isn't it hard, this one, taking care of me? No, Maria. No crying here. Let the college kiss me and then take him away. I know you will. <clears throat> Come on. Wait, Maria. Let him have your icon to remember me by. No, Andre, don't say that. Do as I say, please.
Me dejas. Is it over? Where is he now? So your parents both alive? Neither of them. That's a shame. Mine's still alive and well. Only brothers and sisters? None. Mm. Well, never mind. I'll be a brother while we're here. Yeah, it was a good job they took me for the army. Then my brothers didn't have to go and leave their families. Were you taken, or did you go of your own accord? I went just to see what it was like. I used to be a huge admirer of Napoleon, almost wanted to be here, but... when I saw what his ambition had done, so much senseless death and destruction, I came to the opposite view, that the world would be a better place without him. I had this idea after Borodino that I might assassinate Napoleon. I thought it was my destiny. And look at me now. You and me. We're too tender-hearted for that game. I've been in the army ten years, never killed anyone. Or wanted to. You look a little Sashenka. She could smell your kind heart right away. Dogs and cats, they're no more than we do. Gentlemen, with limited supplies and winter approaching, our position will deteriorate. Convey my compliments to all the regimental commanders and instruct them to make ready. For what, Saya? Retreat. Come on! Everybody up! Get in line! What's happening? Leaving Moscow! Get in line! Well, why not just let us go free? Let's work for you. And have you joined up again and attack us? No, we are stuck with you. Cross look for us. See, master. 
They're prisoners too. Go, go, come on, go! Who's the naughty? Monsieur Le Capitaine, look at this poor fellow. He can't keep up. Can't he ride on the wagon? He can marry so he can die. All stragglers to be shot. Come on! 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 Keep on! It's all right. Look at this. Oh, Moscow. What have they done to you? Look at that poor fellow. And they leave him like that. I did! Allez, on laisse passer, on recule. Voilà, contre le mur, c'est bien. Rambard Le capitaine Rambard Mon ami Do you remember me, my friends Look at that. Thieves. There's nothing we wouldn't take. You must be patient, Contessa. Two drops a day, no more, and nature will work its course. Huh? I promise you. Is there really nothing else you can do for me? Can't you see I'm desperate? I can't get married like this. Patience, mi Contessa. Stati calma, stati calma, and all will be well. We'll come again to see you tomorrow. Arrivederci. I have other ladies to attend to now. Stati calma, arrivederci.
Paradino. Were you here, brother? I was. You. She's happy anyway. Warmer down here out of the way. <coughs> oh, you go on, I'll catch you up. I'll wait with you. Go on, go on. Qu'est-ce qui se passe là? Bon, faites sortir ce vieux Durand. Qui s'assoit là? Get some, or you'll get the same. Move. On va s'installer ici. Oui, ici, c'est bien. Give us all away. Sorry, sir, I didn't realize. Uh, I have this letter for you. I'm sorry it got wet. Give it here. Tell him no. Colonel Denisov, don't you remember me? Petty Rostov. Is it you? Yes, of course. How are you? So, you're a real soldier now, huh? 
Well, off with you. And tell your commander we do it our own way here. Oh, Denisov, if you please. Yes, what is it? I have permission to join your squad if you give your consent. It's rough work for boys, you know. Oh, I don't mind that, sir. All right. We'll try and look after you. This work, it's not death and glory stuff. No heroics. We work like the wolves do, watch and wait, and pick them off at their weakest point while they're retreating. Our job is to see them out of Russia and make sure they never return. None of your crazy stuff for the boy now. We need to send him home to his mother in one piece. What do you take me for? I have a mother too, you know. We need to know their strengths. I'll go down there, send them out. Up to you. You want to risk your life? I'll come with you. No, you don't. Let the boy come. Come on, son, follow me. Yeah. No, come back. Damn you. Remember, speak French or keep your mouth shut. Qui va là? Bonsoir, mon ami. Hubert, la chaise, sixième lancier. Régiment s'en va. Et combien de prisonniers Environ 40. Pas de chance. Vous feriez mieux de les exécuter, mon ami. Bonne nuit. Faites attention. Bonne nuit, monsieur. My God, your accent's diabolical. Are they coming after us? No. You did well. Nerves of steel. They'll make a soldier of you yet. Thank you, Tolico. And thank you for letting me come with you. Good boy. You'll carry me well tomorrow. Still awake, Master? Yes. Dolokhov and I went down to the French camp. You're a brave one, Master. <laughs> With Dolokhov, it's easy. He's not afraid of anything. Not even death itself. And he can handle himself, that Captain Dolokhov. Yes. Is he damn well, Cap? Would you like some raisins? Very good. Thank you, Master. Go on, take the whole bag. I've got plenty more. I brought them from home, you know. Have you sharpened my saber for me? It's got blunt. Actually, it's never been sharpened. Give it here, Master. I'll put a good edge on it for you. No heroics. Stay in the pack. Follow me. Got it? Yes, Colonel.
Laissez tomber vos armes À genoux À genoux À genoux On y on y Surrender or die, it's all the same to me. Prisoners, poor devils. Let's have a look at you. Napoleon has left Russia, Your Grace. We have our victory. Nothing left to do. <laughs> Russia is saved. Thank the Lord. No. I'll stay by him. No, he wants me by his side. В облаженном успении вечный покой, по дождь Господи. Успшему рабу твоему новоприставленному Илье и сотворим вечную
Is anybody there? <coughs> Excellency. So I'm alive, am I? Yes, Excellency. How long have I lain here? Days, Excellency. The doctor said to let you sleep. Captain Dolikoff has been here. And Colonel Denisov. I'm hungry. Bring my clothes. Have I forgot anything to wear? Of course, Your Excellency. And bring me a barber. I'm so sorry for your loss, Countess. It must be very hard to bear. I've been thinking about you all so much. Oh. Princess Balkonsky. Maria! <laughs> so you're in Moscow now? Yes. With Mademoiselle Borienne and Nikolska. Oh, we seem like such a little family in that great gloomy house. We take it very kindly that you came to call on us, Princess. We used to have uh, such a great number of friends, but very few have sought us out in our reduced circumstances. Excuse me. I wanted to express my thanks to Count Nikolai. I truly believe he may have saved my life, you know. But I'll make sure he knows it. And I, I, I was wondering, perhaps you could all come and stay with me. I have so many rooms, and I could ask your advice about all the improvements that need to be made in Moscow and at Bald Hills. I hope you don't think it presumptuous of me. Have you no pride, Mother? What's the use of pride, Nikolai? Princess Maria is our friend. She has a generous heart and she has the means to help us. Think of all the people our father helped when he was able to. You may enjoy the prospect of her charity, Tasha, but I, I value my independence too much, that's all. Well, I pray that you come to see things in a different light. In the meantime, we will accept her generosity and you will pay her a visit. Common courtesy demands that. Is it because of me? Is what because of you? That you won't tell Princess Balkonskia that you love her and want to marry her. No, it's because our family are paupers. But yes, I do feel badly about you, Sonia. I... Then please don't. 
I always felt that we could never be married. And she deserves to be happy, Nikolai. You're too good. How, how can you be so self-sacrificing? Oh, because I'm used to it. Sonia! Coming. My mother sends her compliments. Hopes you're well. I'm quite well, thank you. In the circumstances, how is she now? She's bearing up, thank you. She appreciated your coming to see her. It was a great comfort to her. And you? You are well? As you see. Better give up my commission, but that can't be helped. Oh, you sacrifice yourself for your family. That's so good of you and so sad. No, really, there is nothing to praise. I blame myself for my reckless conduct in the past, and I deserve to pay for it. Now my mother and sister are to suffer for it, too. I'm not worthy of your kindness. I thought you'd let me sympathize with you. I mean, we seemed so close when we were together in Veronage, and now something's gone wrong and I, I i don't know why there are a thousand reasons why our family has lost everything the war's over i have no profession my poor mother who was never wanted for anything now has to darn her own stockings she's so ashamed she can't even go out and face her friends my sister's life is over before it's scarcely let, begun let me help you i have more money than i know what to do with but don't you see how can i ask for your help People will say that I am a fortune hunter. Nikolai, do you think I care what people say? Now look, you might have changed your mind, but if you still feel what I think you felt when we were together in Voronezh, I, I still feel what I felt then. And if you knew, if you knew how long I've been waiting for you, It's so silly. It's Pierre. Pierre Bazukov. Ah, oh, yes, of course. How are you, my boy? How are you? You, you don't look well. She's dead, Pierre. My lovely girl. I know. It's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing to have your children die before you. I know I've done so much wrong in my life, but to take them both from me, both my lovely children. I've wronged you too, my friend. Can you forgive me? Of course. Nothing to forgive. Come, there's a chilly wind blowing. Take my arm. Let me walk you home. Thank you. Good evening, sir. I thought I should call to congratulate you on your betrothal. Oh, thank you. 
cute. He's the dearest fellow, as I'm sure you know, and very lucky to have found you. Oh, please don't embarrass me. We were so glad to know that you've been saved. It's the only good news we'd had in such a long time. Yes, Andre. It's a great blow. Can you imagine? I, I knew nothing about him surviving the battle. So you were able to see him before he died? Yeah. And he often spoke of you, and always very fondly, didn't he? So you found him with the Rostovs? <laughs> what an odd coincidence. <laughs> Was she with him at the end? Pierre, don't you see who's here? Natasha? Have I changed so very much? No. No. No, I didn't see you. I didn't expect to see you. I, I never thought I'd... Very happy to see you, Pierre. Yes. No, of course. I... Likewise. So you didn't know of Helene's death? No. No, she wrote to me asking to see me, but I, I never received her letter. We weren't on good terms, but such a death without friends, without consolation, I feel so sorry for her. Oh, so you're a bachelor and eligible again. <laughs> yes, I suppose I am. He was such an extraordinary little man. He was just a peasant, you know, but he seemed to have grasped the secret of how to live. He never worried. He took pleasure in the good things and endured the bad things cheerfully. And his little dog, how he loved her. She knows how to ask for love, he'd say, and she knows how to give it. What else can you ask? And he was right. So now I'm trying to live like him. Is that ridiculous? No, no, it's not ridiculous at all. Tell us more about him. Tell us all about him. I should go. I've kept you up far too late, but might I call again soon? Oh, of course. You'd always be welcome. Oh, he's such a dear friend. But now it's as if... I don't know what it is. It's... It's as if he's fresh from the bathhouse, all pure and clean. <laughs> Not just on the outside, but on the inside, too. And I knew he had a true heart the first time I met him. Slept a wink. What am I to do? Has she said anything? May I hope? I know I'm not worthy of her, but I loved her so long. Tell me what to do, and I will do it. Well, I think you should ask her yourself. I'll go and fetch her. Dearest Natasha, I know I've been a clown and wasted my life, but I have to ask you, 
Say no, and I'll go to Petersburg and never bother you again. But... Do you think you could love me? Yes. Yes, I could. <laughs> yes, I do. Dear Pierre. I hope not. I'd like to be exactly the same height as he was. Oh, wow, well, really? <laughs> Where's Pierre? Here he comes. Do you help Daddy pick these? Pierre. Will you read this so we can argue about it? Will do. <gasps> hey, do I get a kiss on your name, Dave? <laughs> they say sufferings are misfortunes. But if I was asked, would I stay as I was before I was taken prisoner, or go through it all again? I would say, for God's sake, let me be a prisoner again. Come, let's sit and eat and give thanks for our good fortune. When our lives are knocked off course, we imagine everything in them is lost. But it is only the start of something new and good. As long as there is life, there is happiness. There is a great deal, a great deal still to come.